Shinobu, leave the demon hunters. I know you're working hard, and you really, really are, but maybe you're better off. I just want you to obtain happiness like any normal girl would, and live until you turn really old. That's enough for me. No, I won't ever quit, and I will avenge you for sure. Tell me, what was this demon that just beat you just now? Just tell me, Kanane san, please. I can't live a normal life after someone did this to you. This was the final conversation between Shinobu and her elder sister. It was a demon with blood stains on top of his head. Maybe this is what her sister told her. Back to present. Why, hello there. Very nice to meet you. My name is Duma. It's a very nice night out tonight, isn't it? Says the demon to Shinobu. He always gives a carefree smile, and he speaks in a gentle manner. She remembers what her sister told her. Someone screams help. Help me. Shh. Duma interrupted. We're talking right now, and attacks the lady who screamed. With a flash movement, Shinobu rescued that lady. Were you sure of fast are you a pillar? Asks Duma. Even after being saved by Shinobu, that lady didn't survive. Because of Doma's attack. Don't worry about her. Just leave her over there. I'll make sure to gobble her up later. The weapons this demon uses are a pair of sharp fans. Again she remembers her sister's words. I am the founder of the Eternal Paradise Cult. My duty is to make all my worshippers, including myself, happy. So I'll eat her up without leaving a single speck. So this is the demon who killed my sister. Shinobu thinks to herself. Make everyone happy. Don't be insane. This girl was screaming for a help just now. Shinobu was not happy with Duma. He says, That's why I saved her. She's not feeling any more pain. Nor is she suffering. There's nothing to be afraid of. You know everyone's afraid of dying, and that's why I eat them all up. Now they get to live together with me forever. All the feelings of my worshippers, blood, flesh. I made sure to accept, rescue and guide them all to enlightenment. Shinobu was so angry, there's no way you're sane. Are you right in your head? You are actually making me vomit here. How come you are being this harsh even though we only met just now? He asks if anything is bothering her to speak up. This demon really knows how to annoy people. Like I said, Shinobu is pissed right now. This demon got on her nerves as well. Anything bothering me? You're the one who killed my sister, right? Don't you recognize this, Howry? Duma realizes. You mean the flower breath girl from before? She was such a sweet girl. I missed out on eating her because of the sun. I remember her, but I really wanted to eat her all up. Just as he was speaking, Shinobu attacks Duma with breath of insect, dance of the bee sting mere fluttering, and stabs to his eyes. Duma was so surprised he praised her. That was one nice stab. I couldn't stop it with my hands. And he attacks with his own technique called Blood Demon Technique Lotus Ice. Shinobu dodges it, so cold. The air is cold enough to rip someone's lungs to shreds. She thinks to herself. Duma is surprised by her speed. You really are fast. But it's too bad. You can't kill demons with just stabbing. It's the neck you really gotta go for the neck. Well, I may not be able to kill you by stabbing, but how about with poison? Doma's face becomes pale by her poison, but Shinobu has her doubt about that poison working on him. He screams and says this one is a lot stronger than the one you used on Ruikun's mountain. Shinobu is taken aback by their information sharing. Even though Duma struggles with poison, he was able to decompose the poison. He asks, your blade makes a very unique sound when you put it in your sheath. Is that where you change the poison mix? Mon, this is so much fun. Getting attacked by poison is totally interesting, actually I like it. He asks, do your next mix will work him? He tells her to give it a shot. Alright that's fine with me. Well, I have expected this to happen personally, 